टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट ओवरसे मॉडल ओके सो देर आर लाइक टू टाइप्स ऑफ कंसेप्चुअल और वी कैन से लॉजिकल मॉडल्स ओके लाइक इन नेटवर्किंग ओके वी कैन से वन इज ओवर से मॉडल अदर वन इज योर टी सी पी आई पी ओके टी सी पी आई पी मॉडल ओके सो दैट आई डिस्कस आफ्टर वंस वी लाइक कंप्लीट दिस ऑन राइट ओके आफ्टर दैट आई टॉक अबाउट टी सी पी आई पी एज वेल ओके सो बट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट ओ एस आई गॉट इट या सो एज आई सेड लाइक दीज मॉडल्स आर वट दीज आर दिस दिस इज एन कंसेप्चुअल और यू कैन से ए लॉजिकल मॉडल ओके बेसिकली लाइक दिस ओ एस आई मॉडल और वी कैन से अदर वन इज टी सी पी आई पी राइट ओके सो दिस मॉडल्स हेल्प ओके हेल्प टू डिफाइन द कम्युनिकेशन हाउ द डिवाइसिस आर कम्युनिकेटिंग ओके गट इट हाउ द डेटा फ्लो इज वर्किंग ओके इन बिटवीन टू सिस्टम सो सपोज वन कंप्यूटर इज हेयर ओके and other computer is here if this pc wants to send some data to the other device okay how the data is traveling through your network okay so that is defined by these models okay clear so physically you cannot see these models and all but yeah these are logically uh, available because each and every device okay whatever the devices are there okay so like these are made based on this osi model only okay they follow the same model only yeah so basically this osi model as i said this defines a communication communication process okay how the devices are communicating to each other okay that defined by these models okay whether it is osi model or tcp ip model okay got it so that is the use main use of uh, this osi model we can say okay so you can say like this okay it defines the process or communication process okay process of communication we can say between the network devices okay got it yeah how they are communicating even we are going to discuss in detail okay how like two computers okay they wants to communicate if they wants to send any data okay how the data will flow in your network okay by like uh, in each and every device we can say okay like whether if data is on your switch or your computer or your router okay wherever it is so we'll discuss about step by step okay how your data is traveling in your network okay so we'll like deeply we are going to discuss each and everything got it yeah and like we can say like there are advantages of having osi model okay why we should use osi model because it is like very easy it is very easy to understand and very easy to use okay it's very easy to use and it's very easy to understand why it is very easy because in osi model okay your network we can say like a suppose if there is a network okay that is divided into seven different layers okay got it okay so that's why it's very easy to understand okay because suppose this is a what a problem okay we can say this is a problem okay if we want to solve this problem okay if there is one big problem suppose this is a very, very big problem okay if you are going to solve this problem okay it's very hard to solve it right yes or no okay but if you if you are going to solve this problem by breaking it down like in in sub sections right okay suppose first you solve this this much problem now you have solved this much now you have solved this much then it's very easy to solve right yes or no correct so that's why like what we can say is your network it divided into seven different layers okay and that's why it's very easy to understand okay we can easily understand uh, yeah, like 
based on the layers okay we can we need to just understand the, about the each and every layer functionality okay you can easily understand this osa model got it okay and the main thing is like main advantage we can say it is very easy to troubleshoot okay troubleshoot means to solving a problem right yes or no okay so it's very easy to troubleshoot using osm model how as i said i just gave one example right okay so suppose if you have a big problem okay if you are going to solve that big problem in a in a single task okay you cannot solve it okay because it will be very hard right okay difficult to solve it okay in a single shot right correct but now your problem is divided into seven different parts right okay now you can easily solve it okay so other example if i give you like for example so everyone has done some graduation and all right okay so in each and every year like we are having some kind of books right okay so suppose if you talk about like ccna okay we have one book right suppose there is one book for ccna okay in this book there are suppose 1000 pages okay now if i say like read this book okay in a single shot is it easy like yeah difficult right okay the other thing is now this is one of the thing okay we, because we can easily uh, using this one okay uh, what we say osa model okay using osa model now you are in ccna book there are multiple chapters right yes or no okay like chapter 1 chapter 2 chapter 3 uh, 1 chapter 2 chapter 3 chapter 4 like that okay suppose we are having total suppose 20 chapters okay got it so now you can easily understand is by going through each and every chapter okay you can easily understand it right yes or no so that is your first advantage right okay using osa model same way is what osa model right it divided your network into seven layers correct okay now second thing is what very easy to troubleshoot okay so now suppose in this book i am going to give you a task like you have to find a like uh, we can say we have to find a answer okay for a question you have to find a answer okay now if i tell you like you have to search in in this book so now you have to search in whole thousand pages right yes or no okay if there are no chapters in that case if it is a complete book only okay so if i tell you like if i ask you to find uh, this this answer okay in this 1000 pages so it's very difficult right correct but now if i tell you your answer is like you will find it in first two three chapter only then it will be easy or not it's going to be easy right so similar here in networking as well as i said like your network is divided into seven layers right okay so suppose there is some issue with the communication and all okay so like in with icmp okay devices are not communicating some pinging issue okay some icmp issue suppose okay so icmp works on layer 3 suppose okay that you will come to know later on okay which layer which protocol works and all we, we are going to discuss later on okay so icmp works on layer 3 okay so now problem is where problem is between layer 1 layer 2 and layer 3 only okay so now you don't need to check above layers okay you need to check what these three layers only got it so it's going to be easy right to troubleshoot your network you have to troubleshoot it on your router you have to troubleshoot it on your switches you have to troubleshoot on your cables and all got it okay so that's why like it's uh, we use osa model normally like everyone because this is a we can say standard model okay got it so in this osi model as i said like why it is very easy to understand and which is very easy to troubleshoot because there are seven layers how many layers are there seven layers in osi model okay so what are those layers those layers are
एप्लीकेशन लिया प्रेजेंटेशन लिया सेशन लिया ट्रांसपोर्ट लेयर नेटवर्क लेयर डेटा लिंक लेयर एंड फिजिकल लेयर ओके हेलो या एंड दीज लेयर्स आल्सो कॉल्ड एज लाइक दिस वन फिजिकल लेयर राइट ओके दिस इज आल्सो कॉल्ड एज लेयर वन दिस इज योर लेयर टू दिस इज योर लेयर थ्री लेयर फोर लेयर फाइव लेयर सिक्स एंड लेयर सेवन ओके या so these are seven layers we can say in osi model okay in osi model we are having these seven layers and we are going to discuss each and every about each and every layer first of all we are going to discuss about functionality of each and every layer okay after that we are going to discuss the data flow how the data will like travel from these layers okay that we are going to discuss but first of all you should know right what is this layer what is the functionality of that layer right yes or no correct ओके या या एंड दीज लेयर्स लाइक दीज आर सेवन लेयर्स राइट ओके दीज फर्स्ट थ्री लेयर्स दीज आर नोन एज लाइक टॉप लेयर्स ओके एंड बिकॉज दीज आर वट टॉप मोस्ट लेयर्स ओके इन योर नेटवर्क ओके एंड मोस्टली ऑल द एप्लीकेशन ओके ऑल योर कंप्यूटर पीसीज वर्क ऑन दिस टॉप लेयर्स ओनली ओके यूजर्स कम्युनिकेट ऑन टॉप लेयर ओनली ओके एंड this is what this is your called as like bottom layer what are the seven layers and these are what layer 1 is what like physical layer layer 2 is your data link layer layer 3 is what network layer like this okay yeah so that is the main uh, important part okay any doubt till now to anyone okay fine then we are going to discuss about functions of each and every layer okay functions of each layer so how you want to proceed like from top to down or bottom to up like in which fashion okay bottom to up this way okay no problem so we can discuss anyway like from top to bottom or bottom to up okay like that so but the as i said like because data flow have how the data flow happens data flow happens from top to bottom okay so that's why it's easy to explain like uh, it's easy to understand as well like from top to bottom but anyways i'll discuss from bottom to up okay so layer first layer is what okay first of all we are going to discuss about what functions of each layer okay yeah so first uh, first layer is what we can say layer 1 or your physical layer right okay so this layer basically this as its name suggest right physical okay so basically this layer help to provide physical connectivity and how we achieve physical connectivity using the cables right okay so we can mention here it provides the physical connectivity and we can say cables work on this layer okay even cables as well as like there is uh, we discussed about hub right okay why hub because hub doesn't understand mac address okay as i we already covered this part right okay hub doesn't understand mac address that's why uh, like uh, this works on which layer physical layer only okay so now suppose there are two computers right okay so this cable which is connecting right okay so this cable part 
that is your that is your physical layer got it okay and how your data will be flow in this uh, cables in bits format right yes or no yeah so you can mention here your data flow yeah so these are the devices okay like cables and hub works on this layer layer one and we can say data flow will be in bits right okay because in cables and all your data will be flow in bits only okay got it yeah so that is your about physical layer but at the end we are going to discuss in detail like when we cover the data flow part right okay that time we'll discuss about each and every layer in detail like what are what is that data okay uh, like in physical layer on data link layer network layer transport layer so we are going to discuss in detail about each and every layer okay about how the data flow is working okay but as of now what i'm going to discuss is what i'm discussing here only functions got it yeah so second layer layer two right that is your word data link layer okay so basically this layer we can say it is used for physical addressing physical address is what anyone okay yeah you are correct okay so like we can say on this layer physical addressing works on this layer okay that means what that's your mac addressing right okay because how computer will understand like where to send the data right okay suppose there are multiple computers right so suppose this is switch right okay on this is port number one uh, like this cable is with the port number two this cable is with port number three port number four port number five and here mac address suppose a b c d and e right okay so suppose this a device sending data to suppose the third one c right okay so whenever this data will come to this uh, from this pc to this cable right okay before that this pc apply each and every information okay got it where it will apply it will apply in this seven layers okay so now it will define where to send the data on which layer it will define on layer two it will define that i'm saying sending the data to c your destination mac address is what c got it hello so that once this data comes to the switch switch should know right where to hand out this data to uh, the c d or e right okay so obviously this has to define right see this is your uh, the destination right okay so that's why because whenever suppose even you also suppose uh, like if i give you one example suppose you are going to write a letter okay to your friend right to a friend so whenever we write a letter okay so what we do we mention his name as well right as well as we mention his address as well correct yeah so this address is what physical address only right correct and this name name is what that means like uh, this should be delivered to that particular person only right because on that uh, on that address there might be multiple uh, computers or we can say multiple people will be there right yes or no correct okay that's why we define both the things right uh, correct okay so this is what this is kind of same thing here okay so whenever you are going to write a letter first of all whatever in that letter okay doesn't matter but you have to define it right to whom we need to send the data right okay to whom we are sending the uh, letter and uh, what is the address of that particular person right correct so same way here so this a wants to send the data 
to the this device okay it has to define that this should be delivered to this mac address okay on which layer on layer 2 got it any doubt yeah and if i tell you like this data link layer okay layer 2 we can say so there are two sub layers okay one is like we can say this one only uh, your there are two sub layers one is mac layer okay other one is called as llc logical link control okay logical link control layer got it so this mac layer like it adds the mac addressing okay it perform what it perform mac addressing okay it performs mac addressing got it yes or no okay so this mac addressing is, is done by what this mac layer only okay and i said like on this layer physical addressing work I mean, that means only mac addressing works on this layer okay got it and now what is this llc logical link layer so basically like as i said uh, just few minutes back so we are having multiple layers right so suppose this is what physical layer this is what data link layer now here what we have we have network layer and network layer we have what ip addressing logical addressing okay and here we have we are having what so this layer this layer doesn't this data link layer layer 2 it doesn't understand the ip address it understand only what only mac address but whenever data will come okay so it has to communicate with the above layer as well right because whenever the data will come okay suppose like this suppose this is a its ip address is suppose 10001 okay and uh, suppose this is a computer the other computer b ip address suppose 10002 okay now suppose it's sending data okay so suppose it, it's sending data like ram okay so like this so whenever the, uh, there will be as i said like there are layers right application layer presentation layer session layer transport layer now network layer right okay and then data link layer and now physical layer right okay so first of all data will travel from application to presentation okay presentation to your session layer session layer to transport layer even i'm going to explain each and every layer okay now data will come to your network layer now here it will add the information like it it should deliver to b right source is what source is a destination is b and here it will add logical addressing like source ip is what 10001 destination ip is what 10002 like this so whenever so now this data will come here right okay it like in physical layer it will be converted to your bits right okay like this now through physical like uh, through your cable it will come to destination okay so how data will flow like flow like this in, in this way okay from bottom top so now first the the bits will be here right same bits will be here like this now this will be handed over to your say, uh, next layer so now here it will check what this is for b right for this device only it will check yeah this is for b and i am the b right okay it will accept it now here uh, now this layer doesn't understand the uh, about the ip addressing logical addressing right it understand only mac addressing then how it will understand like whether it is for like above layer okay where to send this data to ipv4 ipv6 and all right and how it's going to communicate with this right okay so that is a type of connectivity between layer 2 to layer 3 okay layer 2 is what data link layer layer 3 is what network layer right okay so this logical link layer it like it forms a link a logical link okay between layer 2 and layer 3 for a communication purpose got it yeah so it provides a 
लॉजिकल कनेक्शन लॉजिकल कनेक्शन बिटवीन लेयर टू लेयर टू मीन्स योर डेट लिंक लेयर एंड लेयर थ्री गॉट इट ओके सो दैट इज द मेन यूज ऑफ दिस एल एल सी ओके इट लाइक it provides a special kind of bond or link okay between the layer 2 and layer 3 so that they can communicate to each other so that like uh, this device can send the data to your ip protocols and all okay clear yeah and on this layer your data is called as what as i said like on layer 1 your data is your data will be in what in which form in bits format right okay so on physical on physical layer your data will be in what in which format in bits format okay got it and similar yeah in layer 1 physical layer bits so in layer 2 your data it is called as frames frame one data is called as frame okay if there are multiple data so that is your what frames okay got it or you can say frame data is called as what a frame clear so like don't be confused like if anybody say like uh, if this frame is coming to this switch frame is what data only clear only the thing is name only changed on this particular layer the data is called as a frame clear yeah now third layer third layer is what network layer okay just hold on so network layer okay so network layer as i said just before above like I explained right okay on layer 3 okay uh, which addressing works the logical addressing yeah logical addressing or ip addressing works on this layer okay we can say ip addressing or ip address also called as what logical address right because it provides your logical connectivity right yes or no works on this layer and also like as i said like in above uh, in this one like on layer 1 hub cables work right okay similar in layer 2 in layer 2 the example is what on layer 2 yeah switches bridges okay so there was a device like earlier we were using like bridge and all okay so that also works works on there but nowadays we are not using bridges so switch we can say work on this layer which layer layer 2 data link layer clear hello and similar here on layer 3 network layer router works on this layer okay sometimes in interviews and all they'll ask you like uh, switch works on which layer or router works on which layer like that okay so that's why i am just covering this one okay router works on this layer that is your what layer 3 got it okay and we are going to discuss in detail what will be your data and all okay and also data in this layer called as what packet okay so networking like you will heard like so many time like about the packets and all okay so packet is what your data only So in packet there will be like uh, your data as well as some information will be there, okay? Like what is your source IP, destination IP, those things and all. But all this complete information is called as what your packet. Got it? Yeah. And what data will be there, okay, in your packet? So what will be like uh, encapsulated information, okay? That we are going to discuss. in some time in next class because in this class 
I know I can only cover this functionality only. Okay. So as of now, all clear, right? Any doubt so far? Okay. Now fourth one. Fourth layer is what? Yeah, transport layer. Or also this is what? Layer 4, right? Okay. So basically this transport layer, it is it is known for end-to-end -end connectivity. Okay. Like if there are two devices are there. Okay. So in this layer, like they make sure like there is a connectivity between okay between both the devices because now in this one i explained you about uh, from layer one to like from the bottom layer right okay layer one okay but how your data will be flow your data will flow from above layer right from application presentation session then transport right okay but other than physical connectivity is what where at your bottom right on physical layer correct okay but now here on fourth layer only they will confirm that like there there will be connectivity or not okay on fourth layer itself okay they will make sure there is a connectivity okay clear so that is with the help of transport layer and how they will achieve it with the help of because on this layer there are two protocol works okay like uh, i'll expl explain both the protocols later on okay so there are two protocols like one is tcp other one is what UDP transmission control protocol user datagram protocol okay so these are two protocols works on this layer which layer transport layer okay and in TCP in TCP there is like we can say end to end connectivity uh, we can check okay there is a process called as three way handshake process okay that I am going to cover in few minutes okay that will cover because here in this one we are going to cover so many things okay in transport layer got it okay so later on i'll discuss like uh, after some time like what is tcp what is udp and all okay before that we are going to discuss about the functions of this transport layer okay clear so as i said like it is known for what end to end connectivity okay and also there are so many functions in this layer okay so what are those function first one is your segmentation second one is your sequencing third one is your check connectivity fourth one is your acknowledgement and fifth one is your windowing okay so we are going to discuss each and every one okay in detail got it so first of all what is segmentation okay as its name suggests right okay segmentation is what yes correct so segmentation is what dividing or all right okay making the segments right okay that is what segmentation right okay so suppose here in this one like suppose this is one of a suppose this parcel okay i just made three segments okay correct okay so similar like in data also you can divide your data okay with the help of what segmentation okay so we'll discuss one by one okay so first of all we'll discuss about segmentation okay so we can say it divides data into smaller parts okay this that is called as what 
that is called as segments okay clear and what is the use of the segmentation why we need to divide the data because what is the main use main use is like to improve our network bandwidth okay to improve our network bandwidth and data flow okay it help the segmentation help us to like improve our data flow at that okay how suppose suppose this is a user okay suppose this is a user it sending data to b okay and now suppose there is no segmentation okay so in that case what will happen so suppose this a it has uh, suppose some 100 gb data okay it's sending 100 gb data to b okay now suppose it's sending data suppose like almost uh, suppose 95 gb data already sent received by this one okay now remaining is what this one what 95 sent but when the remaining 5 gb left okay 5 gb left right okay at this time there is some come like uh, connectivity issue in between okay so now this whole data is corrupted right yes or no whenever you download a file from internet okay i'll just give you like uh, in this way example suppose you are downloading one file okay that file like suppose 10 gb file okay and now suppose your 8 gb you downloaded okay when the 8 gb do got downloaded but in between intra like internet disconnected okay so your that this file will be sh showing as uh, like corrupted file right okay yes or no will you able to use it or not not right got it so same case here also okay so that is the problem okay that's why with the help of segmentation okay we can overcome this problem how we'll see now <laughs> suppose same example okay like but now what this tcp not tcp sorry on this uh, like what has been done on this transport layer here like uh, your segmentation okay this transport layer performed the segmentation that means your data this 100 gb data divided into sub portions okay suppose 10 gb portion 5 gb portion like that 10 gb portion 5 gb portion like that okay uh, suppose i am having suppose kind of 15 or 20 segments okay got it yeah so now suppose when suppose uh, total like total are 20 segments okay and 19 already sent so 19 segments already received yes or no that means suppose if i am sending one segment for 10 gb one segment this is what one segment okay so if i am sending this segment okay if this got received by this two that means this complete packet received right yes or no correct complete file received right so means there is no issue right okay but in between suppose this when we are sending this 10 gb in between some issues happening in that case there is some problem right okay but at right now there is no problem with first 19 segments okay suppose suppose 95 gb already received but now when it's sending the 20th segment that is your like suppose some 5 gb segment right okay at that time okay so suppose when we are sending this data and suppose even 3 gb received okay only 2 gb left okay at that time now suppose some internet issue or connectivity issue between both the devices okay so now issue with this which file the last 20th segment right yes or no with this only right okay now with like it don't need to send it again the whole data okay it need to send only what last segment only got it but in earlier case when this the same issue happening it has to send the complete data okay. again right correct got it yeah so this is the use of segmentation okay 
so we can use we can improve our network bandwidth right yes or no we can improve our data flow okay so that is your segmentation your second one is what second one is your sequencing so now there are multiple segments like your data is divided into multiple segments right okay but suppose here we are having 20 segment here also it got received all the 20 segments okay but now it has to rearrange that data right and that should be rearranged in proper format yes or no correct okay so suppose here data is what the data is suppose rm gram okay but here i am receiving this data like mra in that format okay now i have to rearrange it right in correct format correct yeah so for that only we use what this transport layer it uses sequencing okay use for yeah here is the data in its actual format right in its actual form we can say right okay so how it will be like suppose this data okay suppose a is sending uh, suppose this is device a okay there is data ram okay got it so now is sending this data to b now this ram like with the help of segmentation it divided your data into three portion rm like this okay and now if suppose if we don't have seg sequencing okay in that case suppose now it's sending segment one two three now data received like this in like like this like it received m received a received r received like this okay but if there is no sequencing it will understand like this is what mar right not rm correct yeah so with the help of sequencing so what sequencing will do it will assign the sequence number as well like sequence number one two three okay so the, here also it will be sequence number right so one two three like this so what it will do here again it will be rearranged okay rearranged like this so first is what r second is what a right third is what m like this correct so this is your actual form right your data correct yeah so that is your sequencing any doubt so far okay now third one third is what check connectivity yeah okay so as i said just a few minutes back like uh, on this layer on transport layer there are two protocols right tcp and udp right okay so in tcp we have what we have like in tcp we have a process that is called as three-way handshake process so basically this process only help to provide a logical connectivity to check the connectivity between the devices okay so with the help of this three-way handshake process like a logical connection will be established between between both devices got it clear yeah so even like this is very important okay what is three-way handshake process mostly interviews they ask you okay what is three-way handshake process please explain okay so we have to explain okay first of all check connectivity is what to ensure the connectivity is there right okay and what is three-way handshake process so with the three-way handshake process like we can say it provides a logical connection or logical connectivity right between source and destination okay source and destination got it so this is what a logical connection 
not a physical one okay and how it will be done why it is called as three-way handshake okay we'll explain now okay so see suppose this is what a device this is what b device okay so like in whenever any device okay this device wants to communicate with the the other device okay and if it is using tcp protocol okay so before sending the data before sending any data what it will make sure this tcp make sure the logical connectivity is there okay the connectivity is there with the help of three-way handshake process okay it forms a logical connection okay and it will ensure that there is a connectivity between both the devices got it yeah and how how why it is called as three-way handshake process because now see suppose a wants to communicate to b okay so basically this logical connection okay it established in three we can say three states okay one is what first one is this one like a will send a request message to b okay so that is what that is your sin packet okay sin bit s y n okay so this is kind of a we can say a request message to form a logical connection okay so similar like so suppose uh, if i give you one example suppose there are two person okay one is like suppose ram okay other one is suppose like lakshman okay now these are like two persons okay and uh, they just met okay to each other and now they want to make uh, they want to exchange the data okay they want to become friend okay so how they will become the friend they will exchange some information right first of all it will say what hello a kind of a request message right yes or no yeah similar he will also say hello right similar way right and once they both they exchange the uh, like uh, message to each other okay they'll say like i want to become your friend like that okay after that only that bonding will be there right yes or no correct so similar here like these are what these bits are what these are kind of a you can say a request message only the sin bit okay so once it send the sin bit that means it's just requesting to form a logical connection sin bit is what to send a request message to form a logical connection got it now this b b also because this will be what both side right okay b also will send first of all it received this request right okay it will acknowledge okay even it will acknowledge as well as this also b also wants to form a logical connection right okay even this also will send sin bit plus this one this b device it will send an acknowledgement acknowledgement is what confirmation of this one that i received your request message got it and i accepted it got it okay and similar this a also now this a received this sin bit from b right a request message from b right okay now a will confirm it by what by acknowledgement that i received your sin bit request bit clear so this is what in three stages right one is what sin second is one sin plus act and third one is what acknowledgement clear so that's why it is called as what three way handshake process got it yeah and this is very important so once these all these bits are exchanged between both devices right okay once this three way handshake process completed that means there is a logical connectivity between both the devices okay logical connection established a tcp connection established between bo between both the devices got it yeah okay so till now sequencing check connectivity is done right okay so now fourth one is what
acknowledgement okay yeah so your acknowledgement is what this is type of a confirmation message okay it is a type of yeah it is type of confirmation clear so whenever suppose this a okay sending data to suppose b okay suppose a is sending some d1 segment this is what a segment right okay whenever a is sending one segment to the next device okay now this a will not send any segment until it will receive a confirmation okay in case of tcp clear in which case in tcp case why because this is what reliable protocol that will i'll discuss okay and uh, because it establish what a logical connection right okay so now this b has to send what it has to send an acknowledgement okay that i received your segment got it so normally like there are sequence number right okay they will just like attach the sequence number only for the particular segment okay in acknowledgement field okay so whenever they are going to send the acknowledgement there will be only your sequence number will be attached so that like this device will come to know that like that particular segment received got it yeah any doubt okay fifth one is your windowing basically this windowing it is used for used to control your data flow okay how it will control the data flow see windowing is what windowing defines the communication way how they are going to communicate okay with the help of uh, this uh, sending the segment okay without an acknowledgement okay so suppose by default there is a window size value okay by default window size value is what one okay so what does this mean window size one means that like if a device sending data to b okay so suppose a has has to send like suppose 10th segment it has to send to B. Okay. In your data, there are what? How many segments are there? 10 segments. Okay. So if window size is 1, that means A is sending A first of all, like A is sending suppose D1 segment. Okay. So now A will not send any further data until it receives its acknowledgement. Okay. So once it received your acknowledgement, a received the acknowledgement for that particular segment. After that, only it will send what? D2. Why? Because this window size is what? By default, 1. Okay. Clear. If window size is what? Window size is suppose if 3. In that case, how many segments it will send? Total 3 segments it will send without any acknowledgement. Okay. But once the three seg total 3 segments sent, after that, it will wait for what? It will wait for acknowledgement for those. Clear? Got it? So that is called as what? Windowing. So a short form in you can say like it defines your data flow, right? Yes or no? Defines your data flow. Yeah. And also like you can mention it like uh, what is windowing? sending number of segments without an acknowledgement right yes or no so if window size is 10 that means we can send total 10 segments at a time okay without uh, waiting for any acknowledgement clear got it if window by default but window size is what one so each and every time 
whenever it's sending d1 so it has to wait for the its acknowledgement suppose now it's sending uh, the d2 second segment now a will wait for its acknowledgement when it send the d3 so again it will wait for what for its acknowledgement like that for each and every segment it will wait clear by default but it can be changed so if it is like 10 in that case now this device send like d1 d2 d3 d4 d5 at the same time and it like it will not wait for its acknowledgement okay until the 10 segments it can deliver okay clear yeah that is your window any any doubt till now even now i'll discuss about as i discussed right there are two protocols right works on this layer right tcp and UDP. Even in interviews, they ask like a normal difference. What is the difference between TCP and UDP? Full form is what? Transmission Control Protocol. Okay. And this is your user datagram protocol okay this tcp okay so both works on which layer not third fourth layer trans yeah transport layer okay so both works on transport layer but this tcp it is connection oriented protocol it is connection oriented protocol what does this mean that like whenever this tcp is there that means whenever the device is going to send the data first of all they'll make what they'll make a logical connection got it with the help of trivia handshake process just now we discussed right Hello. Yeah, uh, there is some sound in background. Sharad, I think at your end. Yeah, please mute then. It would be good. Yeah. So that is your TCP. Like in TCP, it is what it is an connection oriented protocol. Why it is connection oriented? Because whenever they send any communication whenever they will do any communication okay before that they'll make a logical connection using three-way handshake process correct just now i covered that correct okay that's why it is called as what connection oriented okay and this user datagram protocol it is it is it is a connection less protocol okay clear so like it will not form any three way handshake process okay it will not do any three way handshake process uh, it will not form any logical connection okay just simply it will send the data clear without checking the connectivity a logical connectivity got it okay so now we'll discuss the next difference okay so first difference we already covered right this is connection oriented Next difference is what? It is an it is an reliable protocol. Which one? TCP. It is called as reliable protocol. And this UDP it is called as unreliable protocol. Okay. Why I said that like uh, TCP is reliable, this is unreliable because this TCP, okay, in TCP whenever like uh, suppose A sending data to B, okay, so whenever it's sending data, suppose it send, suppose given segment, right, okay, so it will wait for its acknowledgement, okay, so this TCP will make sure that data is delivered to your destination correct 
ओके दैट्स व्हाई इट इज व्हाट इट इज ए रिलायबल प्रोटोकॉल गॉट इट हेलो या एंड दिस यूडीपी दिस वन इज व्हाट लाइक हाउ देयर विल बी लाइक नो एक्नोलेजमेंट ओके इन यूडीपी सपोज ए इज सेंडिंग डेटा टू बी ओके इट इज जस्ट सेंड द डेटा ओके इट डज नॉट मैटर लाइक वेदर दिस डेटा रिसीव्ड बाय टेसेंट डिवाइस और नॉट ओके इट विल नॉट क्रॉस चेक वेदर दैट इज रिसीव्ड और नॉट क्लियर so that is what that is udp okay yeah so if i give you some example like some protocol example so like uh, telnet ssh okay so these protocols like works on tcp okay which protocol they works under tcp okay and if i uh, yeah and if i talk about like about uh, uh, suppose dns or dscp okay this uses what this uses udp clear yeah so this is a basic difference okay these are the main difference okay even you can include one more that is what tcp it is tcp it is what slow why it is slow because see by default first of all to like uh, send the data it will form logical connection right okay even for each and every data there is acknowledgement right yes or no correct so that's why it is bit slow as comparison to udp it is what it is faster then tcp because there is no uh, three way handshake process there is no acknowledgement concept right okay that's why it is what first as comparison to tcp got it but it is not reliable right udp correct yeah so that's the main differences okay so main differences are like these two this is tcp is connection oriented and reliable protocol these are the main two okay that you should remember always okay so this is all about which layer transport layer okay <coughs> yeah so now next layer is what session layer so this session layer it helps to create maintain create or maintain the sessions for each and every each and every application okay so suppose now on one computer okay suppose this is one computer okay so it's communicating so on this computer okay i'm using like multiple i'm communicating with multiple applications like i'm using like facebook i'm using suppose youtube okay i'm using like cnl okay like that correct okay so now i want to access each and every like site okay i'm communicating with each and every website right okay yes or no okay so i have to communicate right it's not like so if there is no session layer okay now suppose uh, i have to communicate like i have to use fb or i have to use like youtube okay so at that time okay at the same time okay if there is no sessions okay established within this computer okay for the application different different application if there is no session in that case what will happen if i'm using a youtube okay so at that time i won't be able to use any other app other application right okay i can use only what for suppose for first one hour i can only use youtube only okay like that clear so that will happen 
like uh, in case of we don't have any sessions okay for different different application but what we do have like we have session layer so session layer it maintains the sessions for each and every application so that we can use each and every application on our computer efficiently okay so what it will do it will create sessions in microseconds okay even uh, suppose some like this some 0 0.005 microsecond okay you won't be able to even observe like uh, session is closed for fb and it started for youtube or closed for hold for youtube and started for fb like that okay at like at the eight time you can only use one application but it will be in what in microseconds okay uh, you cannot observe it okay but you will see what like you are using facebook youtube cnl like at the same time you you can access each and every application right correct okay so that is maintained by what which layer session layer okay so it manages the sessions for each and every appli app every application okay so suppose this sessions this session okay maintained for like for first session it is for like uh, 0 0.005 microsecond for fp okay next session is what microsecond for what which one for suppose youtube next session is what for which one for cnl okay now what it will do like this session layer okay suppose we are accessing what suppose i'm on fb right okay so what it will do it will just open this session for 0 0.005 milliseconds okay and hold it or we can say close it okay for a moment okay not it will not close it actually it will hold it okay it will hold this one and start this one okay now once this time finish it will hold this one it will start this one okay like this once it finishes it will, it will start this one again so it will be ro in rotating fashion only right round robin fashion clear so that we can use each and every applications okay at the same time got it yeah so that is done by a session layer so it helps to create sessions between the applications okay now sixth one is what yeah presentation layer so this layer as its name suggests presentation okay so it is used to present or represent the data in its actual format and encryption decryption compression decompression works on this layer only okay now and i told you about this one uh, like on layer 4 data is called as what on layer 4 on transport layer there are segmentation right yes or no yeah so that's why in layer 4 your data is called as segment okay and after that there is no name of data is called as what data only like in session layer data is called as data presentation layer data is called as data only okay and what is the use of this presentation layer basically it represent your data or present your data in its in your actual format and what i said like encryption decryption compression decompressions works on this layer only how see suppose this is a device and this is what b device right okay so here what first one is application layer here is what which layer 
प्रेजेंटेशन ले ओके सो सपोज ऑन नाउ इट इज इफ यू नो लाइक वी आर यूजिंग वर्ड लाइक वेन एवर यू गोइंग टू एक्सेस एनी वेबसाइट ओके इन योर ब्राउजर ओके सो इट विल बी वट इट विल बी ए सिक्योर कनेक्शन राइट ये सर नो इट्स वट इट विल बी काइंड ऑफ एच टी टी पी एस लाइक दिस करेक्ट एच टी टी पी एस मीन्स दिस इज वट सिक्योर्ड वन गॉट इट एंड वेन एवर देर इज सिक्योर्ड ओके वेन एवर देर इज सिक्योरिटी दैट मीन्स देर विल बी एनक्रिप्शन डिक्रिप्शन एंड ऑल गॉट इट Yeah. So whenever suppose this A wants to send some data to B, okay, using some like we can say uh, like any secured website, okay, okay. So in that case, so suppose it's sending data. So here the data will be what? It will be encrypted. Which layer? Presentation layer. Got it? So suppose if your data is what? If your data is a RAM, so that will be encrypted in some other format like X A Y Z A B C like that. Okay, with the help of what? With the help of some keys. Okay, and using the same key, what the this device can do? Using the same keys, okay, it will decrypt that data. Okay, this presentation layer only this. presentation layer it will use this the uh, same keys okay and it will decrypt this data to in its actual format like ram clear and it will hand over to your application layer and that is your what your computer only got it yeah so main funda behind this presentation layer is what encryption decryption uh, encryption uh, compression okay and uh, decryption decompression works on this layer only got it yeah so that is all about presentation layer yeah and if i talk about last layer that is your what yeah seventh one application layer so this is what this is our topmost layer right yes or no topmost layer we can say like all applications so whatever application like whether it is sss https http okay telnet ftp so whatever the applications all applications work on this layer okay clear yeah all application work on this layer okay and this application also responsible to manage other application uh, other layers functionality okay also responsible to handle other layers okay so see this application layer as i said like this is what topmost layer right because this is what the seventh layer right okay topmost layer and all the application even the users okay we are sitting on our computer right so we can able to see our screen and all we can able to write the data we can able to communicate right yes or no correct so we are working on which layer we are working on application layer got it yeah and as i said like all also it is responsible for what to handle other layers as well okay so if i give you an example okay so suppose in a school so suppose there are like different different classes right class a class b uh, class first class is there second class third class fourth class like that correct okay and there will be uh, multiple teachers available right yes or no so suppose this is uh, for one is for science teacher okay one is for maths teacher one is for computer teacher right 
one is for like english teacher one is for suppose for sanskrit teacher right correct okay so even there will be one word one had or we can say principal right correct so this principal is what head of that school or principal that is your topmost uh, part of that school right correct okay so similar here this application layer is also what top topmost layer of osa model got it and now so these are what suppose these are what our layers okay got it so now principal manages all the teachers right who are, who is going to take which class at what time and all okay so maintained by whom by principal only correct okay so similar this application layer it handles other layers functionality as well okay how they have to work and all okay so there should be one monitoring right correct otherwise they will not act properly or they will not behave properly yes or no okay similar like if i give you one uh, like organization example so in organization also we have like uh, there are suppose 10 employee right okay so there will be one some team leaders and all there will be managers right yes or no correct so these managers are what to handle these employees only right handle the your company's task as well as like uh, your employee's tasks as well right okay which employee what he should do or uh, like that correct okay so manager defined right yeah so that is also kind of in one example so clear any doubt in this one so this is all about like uh, functions of uh, layers okay seven layers and we discussed about like i'll repeat it again okay there are seven layers those are application layer presentation layer session layer transport layer network layer data link layer and physical layer right and i also told you like this is what this is your layer 1 this is your layer 2 this is your layer 3 layer 4 layer 5 layer 6 layer 7 okay so here data will be what data only okay on application layer here also the, your data will be data only okay here also your data will be what data only right once it's come to your transport layer the data will be called as what segment okay and this transport layer there are many functions right segmentation sequencing check connectivity uh, windowing acknowledgement right we also discussed about on transport layer we also covered like tcp and the udp difference and all correct and also we discussed about three way handshake process yes or no okay and uh, your data is called as what segment and here on network layer i told you about like ip addressing works on this layer and uh, here your data is called as packet yeah and uh, router works on this layer right okay and uh, once your data come to your data link layer so here your data is called as what frame and i told you about like mac addressing works on this layer and uh, basically this data link layer there are two sub layers one is what mac layer which like used for mac addressing and all and uh, the other one is what llc logical link layer which provides a logical connection or bond between layer 2 and layer 3 okay between data link layer and network layer got it and last one is what physical layer and here your data is what the bits right okay and uh, cables works on this layer correct and it provides what physical connectivity using the cables got it any doubt 
very easy right 